Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to export grid view data to Excel using C Sharp. Let's import this grid view to Excel. I'm clicking the button. So here the file is downloaded emp.xls or file name is. Let's open. See? See we got the grid view data in Excel. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice in this browser, I have already binded an employee table in this grid view control. Now my aim is I want to export this grid view control into Excel format. For that I will use one button control. Let's switch back to the Visual Studio ASP.NET coding part. And this is a code we have just seen the output on the browser. I have used SQL data source to bind the data. The table name is an employee. If you don't know how to bind the data from SQL server into a grid view control, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get a link of that video. Okay, let's start. We'll add one button control after the SQL data source. Go to toolbox button control and here the button control I'm changing the tags import grid view to Excel after adding the button control switch to the design mode double click the button control First, I'm adding a string variable string file name is equals to the file name I'm saving, which is an employee emp dot xsl, which is an extension of the Excel files. Semicolon. I'm adding here one string writer class. The string writer class is belongs to the IO namespace. So here I'm adding a namespace using system.io namespace. Now I can access a string writer class as w is equals to new string writer. I have created an object. After that I'm adding the HTML text writer. HTML text writer HTW is an object new text writer. Here I'm adding the object as W string writer. Now here I'm adding the content type. So response dot content type is equals to here the response for the content type I need the Excel format. So application forward slash vnd dot ms excel here the vnd is a vendor our vendor is a ms excel response dot add header notice the add header takes two parameters both are string so the first parameter is the content this position the second string is a value our value is a file name attachment semicolon file name is equals to plus so I'm adding this string file name here Now I'm adding the render method of the grid view control. Grid view one dot render control. 
the render control is the HTML text writer object which is this one HTWU I'm adding here now response dot write method now in this write method I'm adding the string writer I'm converting to to string method and the last I'm adding the end method of the response response dot end method that's it we have done the coding part let's check the output on the Google Chrome Google Chrome so here we got the output after adding the button control let's import grid view to Excel when I click say I got an error control grid view one of type grid view must be placed inside a form tag run it is equal to server let's fix this error to fix that error we need to add a override method which is a verify rendering in server form when we use that method the compiler thinks the controls are rendered before exporting the data let's add that method public override void verify rendering and server form control I'm deleting this base dot verifying and server form control that's it we have done friends here the extension is wrong which is the xls is the extension of the excel files let's check the final output on the browser google chrome and here we got the output after adding the verified rendering and server form method let's import this grid view to excel i'm clicking the button so here the file is downloaded emp.xls or file name is let's open see see we got the grid view data in excel that's it